if you really want to stress out a student, tell them that they have a test. A student's brain is one of the most active brains and reasons being they are always busy trying to keep up with their studies, deadlines and their social life because all fun and no play makes Jake a dull boy. I say so because I'm also a student. There is nothing more draining than trying to remember all the stuff you've learned all semester before a big exam or a class test. Thus, there were certain ways which were devised to make studying easy for students, and these are called study techniques. Joanne Middleton argues that this approach is applied to learning, and they are generally critical to success in schools. Use of mnemonics, for example, acronyms, rhymes, imagery, chunking, and organization. The second term is thinking in pictures, thought in abstract terms. One should always consciously try to think in terms of pictures because it actually helps to remember stuff in pictures more. The third one is reduced frequency of brain waves. Dr. G. Lanzo discover that if the frequency of the brain was reduced, more effective study becomes because our brain vibrates at 20 cycles per second or higher. Thus, playing music reduces the waves. Uh, the types of mnemonics which can be found are musical mnemonics. This best works with long lists, for example, children's songs, like the alphabet songs. We were all taught the ABC song in kindergarten, and we still remember that. There is the name mnemonics. This means that each letter of the word represents something. I was taught the word hospital by saying home of sick people in towns and locations. The other stuff are expressions or words. Then there are rhymes, just to mention a few. Certain advantages can be gathered by using study techniques. And this means are, uh, and these are, uh, it is a solution to procrastination. One tends to learn faster. One gets perspectives. You learn new study te skills and breaks monotony. Also, it fills in learning gaps and practice for the real world. Thus, one may try to talk to themselves or record themselves, which will lead to concrete information staying in your brain because your brain because you get to listen to yourself constantly. Um so there are a lot of study techniques um, that are there and one that works for me is the visionary technique which involves mind maps. Um, basically with mind maps it actually summarizes everything that I'm studying in one thing which makes it easier for me to remember almost every part of the sections of whatever topic I'm studying and it stays in for a long time because then you have a picture of whatever you've studied. And yeah. Okay, so I've tried out so many study techniques uh, when it comes to using music, listening to, um, studying and then listening to myself, uh, using my maps and other stuff. But the study techniques technique that works for me is uh, memorizing with memorizing I read stuff out and then I repeat it to myself and then by that I sing it to myself and then I use my hands to remember stuff and then even when it comes to a test I know that a certain thing that represents this and then a certain thing that represents this so and then I use also my head and then I close my eyes by closing my eyes it, I remember stuff more so memorizing helps me a lot better so for me, um, the study techniques which works best is using postcards. Um, I write the stuff I want to study 
then I post it around my room, which makes it difficult for me to ignore the stuff which is around my room because it will be so annoying and so colorful. So I'm forced to just look at it and study. I also use music. Um, I listen to music while I'm reading something and each time when that kind of music plays I remember that okay I was reading this so it actually comes back quickly so yes that's what really makes me be much more efficient when I do my study thank you